Hello and welcome. We're coming to you from the In Orbit Mall in Hyderabad. Today we're going to be meeting Sudha and S.V. Krishnan, founders of Ace Experiences, a company that has brought dialogue in the dark here to India. An experience that's entertaining, educational and has a wider social impact. Imagine a world full of darkness. A magical world with surprises around every corner. The sound of birds chirping, of water slapping against a shore. Walking across a bridge into a park full of trees and plants that brush against you like old friends. This is the experience that is called Dialogue in the Dark an exhibition and workshop to explore the unseen. Visitors are led by visually impaired guides through specially constructed dark rooms, an experience through which you awaken your other four senses. Dialogue in the Dark is an international concept that has been around for over 25 years and was recently brought to India by the Krishnans. S. V. Krishnan, who has worked in the corporate space for about two decades with companies like the Sri Ram Group and MediCity, along with his wife Sudha, decided to take a plunge into the deep end for something that they believed was going to be game-changing. I was on a tour, I was on a trip to US and I was killing time. Right. I had a delayed flight so I didn't know what to do one evening. So somebody told me in the hotel that there is something called Dialogue the Dark which you never experienced in life. And I was very intrigued because I am also quite an uh, adventure trying guy. So I thought what is this exhibition tour in complete darkness, let's go and try this out. And I landed up in this uh, exhibition center in Atlanta and uh, I just casually got, got inside. And it was a very, very different set of people. I had a German, I had an American, I had about two uh, uh, Afro-American uh, children. And right. we were a set of about eight people getting into this exhibition tour. So I was also extremely thrilled like a child. And I went into this exhibition and I was completely moved. I think it was such a life-transforming experience for me. Right. While I went into this exhibition thinking of uh, adventure, entertainment and stuff like that, what moved me was uh, the entire experience of... Uh, Going through darkness, one, I think at a personal level, it transform you, transforms you because you dip into a different level of your own potential. Because what happens, what you're trying to do in dialogue with the dark is you can't see anything inside. So you need to depend on your own internal strengths or the other four senses. So naturally, the other four senses get heightened. Yeah. And two, you get into the sense of awe and power of your own self. So your self-limiting beliefs go away. You get in touch with your own self. So that was extremely powerful and uh, transformational for right. me. It's a bit of a and revelation yes. about what you're capable of. Exactly. Just to add on to what Krishna is saying, I think um, what happens is people do hit on their own self-set uh, limitations probably which they have set for themselves and it is so dark that they have to maneuver and then they start even understanding how they feel very dependent on this guide whom probably they met only a few minutes ago and then they start understanding this dependency and then later when they come to know mm. that this guide is a visually impaired person it really helps them to get into the space of true empathy and understanding how it would be for them uh, in the normal world so dialogue in the dark is also a great attempt to see if our worlds can come together and if we can create a very inclusive society but tell me something this is of course the larger social impact um, that is uh, behind the company or behind this entire experience. Um, when you first set it up, were you worried about the kind of response you'd get? Were you worried that people would come into the mall and not find it exciting? You know, what was the response like? Did you have to really work at it or, or did, did the enthusiasm flow naturally? Um, the enthusiasm was very natural, it was very aggressive, it was very optimistic when we started actually. And uh, if you ask me two years before we started, I think we were on a very, very high level of excitement and enthusiasm. But two years down the line, I think you tread a cautious optimism uh, because uh, we are currently or we continue to go through the uh, pains of a pioneer because we are trying to use entertainment exhibition to educate people and people have to come and pay for this and this is something which can't be explained to people right. when you see people coming and buying a ticket when they ask me what is this 
you really don't have anything to show to them so we say there is nothing much to show you need to go into an experience i i didn't understand it right. uh, you know all this stuff i still have to experience right. it but right. in all our conversations uh, yes. earlier yeah i couldn't quite understand you know what exactly because we live about. in a visually dominated yeah. world i think even in a food court when you go though we all understand probably what a roti is and what a puri is or an idli is we have seen it before yet it is always presented visually either physically or by pictures so that people can re- relate to it but here there's nothing that we'll be able to show in fact we are uh, working minus the key predominant sense which is eyesight right. which our world is always used to exactly. so to that extent it is very experiential uh, not so easily explainable but definitely there is this element of curiosity and thrill for people uh, you, when we you talk also about have repeat customers Yes we do People we do perhaps bring in other yes, family members exactly. or friends right see this is like uh, we keep changing the themes also inside every 6 uh, months okay so people do come back for example when we started the dialogue with arc exhibition experience about 2 years back we never had a cricket in the dark okay as we always say on the lighter uh, side uh, the only cricket uh, stadium in the world right. where you can't fix the match because fixing the ball and the bat itself is a great challenge <laughs> <laughs> so people actually come and get excited how can you play cricket in the dark right and how do you play That's how do you bat how do you yeah. how do you bowl and stuff like that so we do these kind of stuff we have a boat ride inside we have a walk in a park we have a shaking bridge which navigates your uh, yes. which challenges your navigation skills in complete darkness we have a lot of things to touch and smell and feel and taste so in, in uh, summary all the four other senses have an opportunity in the absence of eyesight to also prove that they exist yes. and they can be heightened to so either of you miss your 95 coffee job <laughs> if they ever were 9 to 5 no i i think um, i will certainly say that we are happily uh, doing our jobs back here and uh, or in other words we are we are struggling at this point of time in terms of the social impact and the pioneering pains but we are extremely happy so the new coinage for us is we keep saying we are happily struggling <laughs> <laughs> um, okay fine and i don't know our own experience has been in corporate with the kind of burnouts that you have um the struggle continues everywhere i think the question is are you happy with what you're struggling with and um, as long as there is a great give back and contribution that's what we feel back in dialogue with dark i still remember the day when i actually went into dialogue with dark at atlanta and i came out the first thing that i did was it was middle of the night in india i called up sudha and i told her sudha this is phenomenal this is life transforming and i don't know i get this feel that i want to do this back i'm going to come and you know kick my corporate career and want to start something i wow. didn't even have a clue how difficult this could be um, so probably somebody asked me would you do dialogue with rock today yes um, with so much of uh, information yes i would but the enthusiasm and the kind of passion with which we really wanted to start i think that was the calling that was spontaneous it just came to you yes i'm extremely happy about that decision too well after hearing so much about it i have to go experience it yes. so so let's let's go yes With a lot of anticipation, I started off towards the dialogue in the dark room, eager to see what awaited me, and will take you there as well after this very quick break. Okay, so I guess I'm going to see you both yes. in a yes. short while. Absolutely. Have a good time.